fellow art journalers, this is Karen and welcome to my channel Open Heart Journaling. In this video I want to show you how to make backgrounds and circles with the square and round mini jelly plates I made at home. The jelly plate is flexible and that makes it easy to use it to stamp acrylic paint patterns in your art journal. Here I am using acrylic paint. Make sure it is not so wet that it runs under your stencil or too dry that you cannot move it around with your brush. Mine was a bit dry so I sprayed a bit of water on my jelly plate to get the right consistency. I wanted to show you how the paint transfers onto your surface from the jelly plate so I blended a few colors together and stamped them on the page. Now I am using a stencil to create a pattern. The stencil sticks down onto the jelly plate which prevents leakage of paint under it. This gives a crisp outline to the pattern you then stamp onto your page. As you can see I am just using a brush to do this. If you have a brayer you can use your brayer as well. Any kind of stencil will work, just choose whichever one you want, put your paint on with your brush or your brayer, remove your stencil and stamp it onto your page. You can use the round jelly plate to create flowers on your page. Here I am going to be doing a rose. I do the shape of the letter C forwards and in reverse in different color paints to give this effect. You can also create fun flowers with colors and stripes and circles on your round jelly plate. And now you can go ahead and just have fun with your round and square jelly plates. Add color, make stripes, put circles, put dots, whatever comes to mind. Use your stencils to create effects and layer them over on top of one another. Here I created little fish which you can make a lovely sea page in your art journal with. I had the stencil which looked like fish scales and it gave me the idea to do fish.
Masking is also a lot of fun using the mini jelly plates. Here I used a piece of mesh material. I applied it to the mini jelly plate first. I then painted through it. I picked up the jelly plate with the mesh on so that I could push the paint through onto the page. And you get that mesh effect on your page, which is really fun for a background. You can also mask with shapes that you cut out, with feathers, with string, whatever you can think of that you can mask with and make a shape on your page. I would say just have fun and go with it. Here is another technique you can use with your mini jelly plate. I made my own stamps out of polystyrene um, and cut shapes with a soldering iron. I then removed the paint off the jelly plate with them. You can also use your silicone stamps to do the same. If you're wanting to use your acrylic paint to stamp, this makes it very easy. You put your paint on your jelly plate and then your jelly plate acts as your ink pad. Press your silicon stamps onto the paint on your jelly plate and stamp. Thank you for watching. Have loads of fun.